My next guest is a Tony Award winning producer for the Broadway show Spring Awakening and a TV icon. Tamara Tooney gained fans and fame playing attorney Jessica Griffin for 15 years on the soap opera As the World Turns and on one of the longest running primetime dramas in TV history, Law and Order SVU. <laughs> She appeared in over 200 episodes portraying Chief Medical Examiner Melinda Warner, and now she is starring in the role of a lifetime, you might say, in the highly anticipated biopic film on the life and legacy of the great Whitney Houston from the people who know her best. It's called I Want to Dance with Somebody. Tamara plays Whitney Houston's mother, Sissy Houston, in an unforgettable performance. Take a look. Special guest in the audience tonight, legendary record executive, Mr. Clive Davis. My voice is gone. What? You start the show tonight. No talking back. I'm your mother. There's a boy I know. He's the one I dream of. What's your name again? Whitney Elizabeth Houston. It's on, it's on, listen. My dream, sing what I want to sing, be how I want to be. I say a prayer with every heartbeat. Reach as big an audience as I can. A uh, common criticism of you, your music isn't black enough. Look, I don't know how to sing black and I don't know how to sing white either. I know how to sing. Woo! Please welcome Dan Pham to the show, Tamara Tooney! performance is mind-blowing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> how, how do you capture someone so well-known? Sissy Houston, a living legend. A living legend, a yes. A living legend. Mm -hmm. And you have to portray her, mm -hmm. and she's able to see the work you do. Yeah, that's wow. a lot of pressure. <laughs> no pressure. That's a lot of pressure. Um, no, you know, I, I approach the role as I do any role. And I research and I read everything that Sissy wrote. You know, yeah. she wrote her own, she wrote an autobiography about her own life. She wrote a book about Whitney and their relationship after Whitney passed away. Mm -hmm. And I looked at every interview that I saw and I just wanted to, you know, understand and get a sense of, you know, who Sissy was and what her relationship was with her daughter, mm -hmm. you know, beyond what we just saw on the right. surface. So, you know, I was thinking about it because we, Dionne Warwick has been on the show many mm. times, of course, ah. and Aretha Franklin became truly a godmother to me. And Sissy Houston, I met briefly. These women are cut from a different cloth. Absolutely. And so you are watching them navigate their own careers, but then with Sissy, she passes this on yes. to her daughter. Yes. And you have to capture their bond, which a lot of people have speculated about, have written sure. about, but don't know. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, what I, what I really gleaned and what I really um, understand uh, from everything that I, I, I've read and people I talked to, I realized I had friends yeah. who actually, you know, worked with Whitney and, and knew Sissy. And, yeah. and, and I, I talked to everybody I knew who knew her. And what I understood was that there, it was a deep love. Yeah. It was a deep and unconditional yeah. love. Mm -hmm. And the way that love was expressed was sometimes very tough mm -hmm. and sometimes very nurturing and cuddly. You know, mm -hmm. it just depended on the situation. But I know that Sissy loved her daughter with all her heart. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that, um, I hope that I could just bring, bring that to the oh, You've done it. Let me film. tell you, this is the film and the portrayal people have been waiting for. I gotta tell you, you said that you talked to a lot of people about them. I talked to someone who um, I'm close with. Uh -huh. um, and I have a surprise for you. Oh. Because they wanted to say hello to you via Zoom, the iconic one and only Clive Davis! Oh Rock and Roll! And I'm really here uh, to tell Tamara, you did capture Sissy. I was there when uh, 
Whitney was 19, and uh, Sissy and John brought her to me, and I was there through the whole relationship, and you captured Sissy. Mm. You really did. So yeah. uh, it's a wonderful performance. Wow. You know what? I called Thank Clive you. and I said, we have tomorrow on. Stanley Tucci plays Clive in the film. Yeah. Phenomenal, award-winning performance. And so, Clive, it's been, it's hard to believe 10 years since the world lost Whitney and you lost a part of your heart. Yes. This film, what do you want people to get from this project that you're behind? Two major things. One, I wanted the film to capture and to answer every question that all of you have had out there about Whitney that you don't know, whether it's her sexuality, whether it's the impact of drugs, whether how she and I approach the recording process, who picked the songs, how indeed was it recorded. Most of all, we wanted to capture the music, the music mm. that defined a generation, yeah. the yeah. songs that have become standards, yeah. but that voice, with music voice, was the absolute finest of her generation. Wow. Uh, she's an all-timer, incredible voice, and the music in this film, when you're in the theater, and it must be seen mm -hmm. in a theater, yes. it will really blow you away. Just affect you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, tomorrow, seeing you as Sissy, you obviously, we know you're a brilliant producer, brilliant actor, and your legacy and your career represents so much, but this role is just so heartfelt. Thank you. So heartfelt. Thank you, thank you. And Mr. Davis, for you to say that. I'm really emotional right now. Thank you for this incredible surprise. And I'm so honored. First of all, um, gifted me, um, as one of the producers on the film, gifted me with the opportunity to play Sissy, which is an incredible gift. And, and to you know, hear you say gift, that- uh, You, you thank did you. deliver, and Aww. there's no question. And this is a bold, oh, honest, wow. wonderfully yeah. captivating film. Well, uh, Clive, I only have one complaint. Stanley Tucci is not as handsome as you, so he has to work <laughs> on that. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Thank you so much, Clive. Thank you for surprising. Oh and we'll see you soon. Love you. Thank you. The Thank one you. and only. Thank you. Clive I'm not kidding you. Congratulations <laughs> on this film. Thank you. You have to come back. But we all are fans oh, of everything you do. Thank you. Tamara, that was ridiculous. Oh. oh my God. I can't even speak right now. Oh my so. God. Well, I'll speak this part. I want to dance with somebody is in theaters nationwide December 23rd. Go out and see it.